Hello. It's good to see you. Today we have naked nails. Look at that. No nail polish. You don't see my nails that way very often. Um, they are my natural nails. I have always had very strong nails. Ever since I was little, they, uh, they do break, of course. Sometimes they can break. This one I broke washing the truck and then the nail was ripped all the way off when I was emptying the, the bagger on my lawnmower the other day. It caught on something and it ripped it off. So it does happen. I mean, it's, they're not made of steel. I mean, they can break, of course, but, um, you know, I, I have busy, I have a busy life. I do all kinds of things and, but I'm very lucky that I've always had, uh, strong nails. People ask me, well, you know, what is your secret? What is your routine? Honestly, I don't have one. I don't really have to do anything. That's just how they grow. I don't, I, I'm fortunate <laughs> um, to have them, so. Yeah, there's, I, I, w I would love to impart a secret to long, strong nails, but I don't really have one. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, anyway. Yeah, I, I wash dishes by hand. I don't use gloves. I do everything normal people do. And they just stay that way. Anyway, today we're going to paint my nails. Which I was going to do anyway. And I decided we would just do it together. So the first thing I did, and I've already done this. I use this under every... Every time I paint my nails, I put this under there. I do this. I will add a, a layer of... Revlon Quick Dark Quick Dry Base Coat. And I'd never used this. I used to use the Revlon Quick Dry Top Coat, but I switched to another kind that I'll show you in a minute. But a subscriber recommended that I try this, and I have found that it really makes a difference. You know, you apply a top coat to keep it from chipping, to keep your nail polish from chipping, but I've found that if you also apply this base coat, I think it also helps to for you to keep your nail polish from chipping and it makes it last longer and it dries really fast that's what the little bit of a shine on my nails is is this stuff right here so I just do one coat of that and another good thing about it is a good thing I found it keeps the color of the nail polish from transferring to your nails and staining your nails it really provides a nice barrier and prevents that that was an added bonus too so, we have the Revlon Quick Dry Base Coat. And the color I'm going with today is the one from yesterday, uh, last night. I made a video uh, with this featured. This, I think, was the last color that we tested. This is pure ice. And the color name is Playful Purple. Number It looks like number 1451. So, we're going to be applying this. It's kind of a lavender color. It's, uh, it's not really super purple. It's like a bluish purple. So we're going to be applying that. And then after that, we're going to apply my favorite top coat. This is Sally Hansen Big Quick Dry Top Coat. It comes in this little glass bottle here. And I used to use Revlon's top coat, but I actually like this one a little bit better. It's a little bit shinier and it dries faster. So I decided to switch to this one. And a subscriber told me about this one too. I had not tried it and someone recommended it. So I got some and tried it and I really liked it. Okay, now let's see. Ooh, my voice is a little scratchy because I've been outside doing yard work all day and my allergies are acting up. Sorry. Um, okay, so we're going to do this. And from the way it went on the practice nail in the last video, I may only have to do one coat, but we'll see. Let me um, get something here. Just I don't want to get nail polish anywhere. I just have a couple of tissues. I'm just going to lay them out like this. This gives me a nice space to work on. Now this nail is a little weird and it may look weird when I put nail polish on it. I was helping someone move furniture 
not too long ago, like about a week ago, and I was helping them move a dresser, and my nail, when I went to set it down, my nail caught right under the, dr the dresser, and when I set it down and pulled my hand out, it ripped my nail. It was very painful, but anyway, I used Orly Nail Rescue on it to fix it. But the only thing I don't like about it is, no matter how much you buff it down, it leaves the surface of your nail kind of rough. And when you go to put nail polish on it, it always looks a little strange, so... But it was either that or I was going to have to cut it. Because it's down below the, the quick there. It's, yeah, it broke right there. It just basically ripped it. And if you've ever done that, you know, it really hurts. Okay, if we have any mistakes... This is what I use to remove my nail polish, and I can fix any little mistakes with these pointed little swabs here. These are from Q-Tips. They're cosmetic swabs, I think they're called. They have a pointed end, and they're really great for just getting, you know, little bits if you just want to get a little bit off there. A lot of times, though, what I do, instead of doing this, when it's time, I will fix my nails. And then I will save some, I don't really save the dishes, but I kind of time my nail painting for when it's time to go wash a bunch of dishes, which I do all my dishes by hand in the sink. And as you wash the dishes, of course, it will soften up any bits of nail polish you have around here. You don't even need to do this. You can just kind of brush it right off and it comes right off. Um, I do, that's usually what I do, honestly, but in this instance, mm, we can try this. Now, this is Beauty 360 Advanced Nail Polish Remover. This is a CVS brand, and I love this one. I always get the Advanced Nail Polish Remover. They have several kinds, but I like this one. This one seems to work the best. It strengthens and nourishes with natural oils. And it's for natural nails, so I guess you're not supposed to use it with fake nails. It looks really gross, but I want to show you a specific feature about this. This is why I like it. I now have used it, so it's going to look weird. Well, it's not too bad. You see, now normally the stuff in there is clear, but I've used this several times and it changes. You know, it'll start looking like the nail polish that's in there. They get really nasty. Um, but I like it because the inside of this is plastic and there are these, you see the little, it looks like little fingers in there. Those are also made of plastic and you, they go all the way around and it's better than the ones that have the foam rubber inside. Those tear up and don't seem to work as well as the plastic one does. So that's why I get this one instead of the ones that have the foam rubber in there. And uh, you can get these at CVS. I think that I think it's around six dollars. Don't hiss at me. It was making a noise. Yeah, I think it's around six dollars. But you can use this single thing bunches of times. Um, and I, I swap it out when the the liquid gets really yucky, and eventually it just gets really gross. So that's when I swap it out. But if we have any areas to clean up. We can just take one of these little cosmetic swabs and just dip it down in the liquid and just do like that. And it comes right off. Or like I said, you can just go wash a sink full of dishes and just scrape it off. That works too. Okay. So we have the pure ice here, playful purple. Just do this. Tap, tap. show you the color. Really pretty. I think that's a nice color. Now, everybody paints their nails differently. I mean, everybody has their own technique. I don't know that there really is a right or wrong way to do it. I mean, unless you're painting up here, that might be wrong, but, you know, you, you do it whatever way works for you. It's just really a matter of trial and error and finding what works best for you. I always start with my right hand. I, I don't know why, I just, I'm right-handed, but I like to start with my non-dominant hand painting. I don't know why, that's just the way I prefer to do it. 
Well, that way, you know, then the next one is a little easier because it's my dominant hand and I just like to get the, the slightly harder part out of the way first. Okay. I feel weird doing this while I'm recording it. It's strange. Okay. I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to start kind of down here and then bring it forward. Making sure to get all the way down this this part too. And I'm not perfect. I mean, I, I mess up. You're going to see me mess up. I guarantee you. You'll see it. I got attacked by a bluebird when I was outside. I did. It, it attacked my head. It was bizarre. Okay. There's the first one. There we go. Uh, this nail was longer, but it got messed up. Okay. And we'll come on over to this one. Just come all the way. We start way back here. And slowly work your way forward. It's all about patience. Don't get in a hurry. Be nice and even with your coats. And you can use the brush to smooth out the nail polish. If you end up with a little bit too much in one area, you start back here at the back and gently sweep forward to smooth it out. Sorry. Oops. <laughs> I've had two manicures in my whole life. One was before my senior prom. And the other one I got as a birthday present when I turned 38 from a friend of mine. And that's it. If you get, if, there's a little bit right here. Now see, I can take my thumb and kind of pull down a little bit. You want to be careful. I don't have any nail polish remover on there, do I? People ask me how often do I do my nails. Um, it depends. Just pull it down. Be careful not to get the nail polish remover on the nail. You're just getting the side of your finger. I'm trying to get this side of my finger. Okay. I redo my nails every, I don't know, every three days or so, three or four days. It depends. If I'm really busy, it may be longer. Sometimes, honestly, sometimes I'll put a color on there and I just really don't like it. And it, I'll only leave it on there for about a day and then I can't stand it anymore. <laughs> this one's nice. I like this one. Next one. Start down here. And then bring it up. A little bit of something right there. I'm trying to get it. Okay. Oops. I didn't get it all. I'm really bad to miss the sides over here. <laughs> I don't know how I managed to do that. You just 
just have to take your time. Don't be in a hurry. Redoing my nails start to finish takes about two hours, honestly. Usually I'll wait till my kids are asleep and I, I just do it when I have a quiet moment. When my kids go to bed, I make videos. That's why they post so late. I also went through a period there for about two weeks where every video I made was being manually reviewed. That was um, uncomfortable. I still don't know why they did it, but it's apparently stopped now. Oops. So a lot of times after I start the upload of a video, if it's time to change out my nail polish, that's when I do it while it's uploading, and then I, for the last two weeks, I had to wait for it to be reviewed, so, uh, that was weird. I still don't know why they do it. I never received a communication about it, but they seem to have stopped, so I don't know. I don't know what that was about. There. Just be very careful with these Q-tips, with the nail polish remover on them more than once, <laughs> many times, I accidentally bump the nail polish with it and it'll mess it up and you have to remove it and start over. The good thing about this though is you can redo a single nail very easily, you know, because like if you're trying to handle cotton swabs or something with a nail polish remover on it, it's going to get on your other nails and it's going to mess those up, but if you have one of these, you can just stick the single finger in there and it you know, you're not going to get nail polish remover all over the other fingernails. It's wonderful. And be careful when you handle things with wet nails. <laughs> Just remember that they're wet. Okay. But you can see already that, oops, what I do? This has got a lot of shine to it already. Now I know it's still kind of wet, but I really like pure ice nail polish really great. Start at the back. Careful. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm just going tap, tap, tap. Little bitty strokes like this. And then come forward. Don't work with too much nail polish at once. Don't get a big gob of it on the brush. Just nice and easy. You have to turn your hand a funny way. Like, it's hard to see. I have to twist my hand this way. And then to even it out, I just bring it, start back here, and then brush all the way down. That evens it out. I messed up a little bit on that one, too. pie today. I wanted to take y'all shopping and get the ingredients and make the pie, but I ended up spending so much time outside doing yard work that it just is not going to happen today. It's so hot. I'm so tired. Okay. There's the first hand. Now you have to be careful doing the next one because now you're painting with wet nails. And that's another reason I like to start with my non-dominant hand because I feel I have a little bit more control over this hand because I'm right-handed. You know, if you're left-handed, you want, might want to start, you know, painting with your, you know, non-dominant hand. So, you might want to start painting with your right. It, it may not make any difference. That's just what I like to do. So, they're wet. So, now you have to be a little bit more careful. And just handle everything like this. Just handle everything like it's disgusting. Just like, ew, ew, ew. Just keep your nails away from things. And before you start painting your nails, make sure you're going to have enough time for them to dry. You know, if at all possible, just reserve some time for them to dry. Okay, now this again is the one that I messed up. 
so it may go on a little weird. I'm not used to doing this with an audience. <laughs> okay. Oh, and it's a good idea to go pee before you start because there's nothing worse than getting done and all your nails are wet and then realizing you have to pee. <laughs> Oh, it's 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 silly, I know, but it's it, it really sucks. Okay, now be careful holding this. Oh, it's dried out. <laughs> this stuff evaporates very quickly. And when you go to pick things up with wet nails, one trick I use, you just kind of press on it and it makes it rise up a little bit so you can get a little bit better grip on it like that. Let's use this end. I just wanted to get that little bit there. messed up my pinky nail. There's a little spot here. Alright, now we're going to move on to the index finger. Start at the back. Little, little strokes. You're not trying to be crazy with it. You don't want to go nuts. And you can paint them all different colors. Anything you want. That's the fun thing about it. My mother's kind of old school when it comes to nail polish. Really, she thinks it needs to be pink or red. Like any, if it's blue or green, she's going to raise an eyebrow at it and go, Well, I guess if you like it. <laughs> No, she wouldn't care for this nail polish. She wouldn't like this at all. <laughs> I'll be honest with you, I mess up my left hand more than my right. I think I get impatient and I try to work too fast. I make way more, I get, I make more mistakes when I do the left hand pretty much every time. the left middle finger there. Ring finger. I know a lot of people will say that you know, you can put a little bit of nail polish under the nail. I, I've tried that. I can't really tell that it does anything. I think the best thing you can do is use a good base coat and a good top coat. I think that helps keep it looking good. It keeps it looking better longer more than anything else. And just 
because it's an expensive nail polish doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to work better. I found some wonderful nail polishes that are pretty inexpensive. You don't have to pay a lot to uh, get nice nail polish that's going to work really well for you. Alright, now we're going to do the last one. A little pinky. And then we just smooth it out. Like that. Now make sure you always close up your nail polish. Don't leave it open. Okay, I'm going to move this out of the way. Okay, now we have a nice little set of painted nails. Now what we're going to do is we're going to let them dry and the last step is to come back and go over them with the Sally Hansen Big Quick Dry Top Coat. So we're going to let them dry and then we will take care of that. Okay, I've given it a little bit of time and I'll let this polish dry here. So, this step is really easy. You just take your top coat, whatever kind you want to use, whatever kind you like. And we're just going to give it a generous coat right over it. And it's not really going to look like anything. But I'm just doing a nice coat. There we go. And it will give it a little bit of an extra shine too, which is nice. Here we go. A little bit of an extra boost to it there. And if you compare, okay, I just did the top coat on these. It's really not that different, but <laughs> it's it's a little bit shinier. It's not a huge change, but there's you can see a little bit of a difference to it. And now we'll do the left hand. This goes a lot faster, as you can see. It's super quick. Now, of course, you have to let this dry as well. But, yeah. And that's it. And I do, like I said, I really do like this top coat because it, it gives you a little more shine and it helps, helps protect your nail polish and it dries really fast. So... These are the two products I always use with my nail polish. So there we have it. Freshly painted nails. Good for a few days anyway. <laughs> and there it is. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And I will see you again really soon.